Amplitude changes have to be smoothed in order to uh, eliminate the possibility of clicks or pops. So if I turn on the audio engine and move this dial, you'll hear that there's clicks between each of the movements of the dial. So this is how we smooth it out. Get rid of the knob and I've turned off the engine. And we're going to create a new knob. Right click it, choose properties, say from 0 to 0.5. And we're going to feed this knob into a line object, but we're going to do it in a special way. So create line with a tilde. And now a message box connected to line with a dollar sign one. So this will be the value from the knob and the time it's going to take to ramp to this value. So let's say five milliseconds right now. Okay. And then we're going to take the output of line and pump that into the final amp stage, the right inlet. I turn on the audio. Now we'll listen. So you can hear bumps in the um, change of amplitude, but they're rounded. They're not clicks. So what we do is we can adjust the second argument of line. These are milliseconds, remember. We'll say, take a full second to reach the new value. So you, you can hear there some latency, so let's change it to just 50 milliseconds. And now you hear that the amplitude is smoothed out because we're moving between values, but we're not doing it discreetly. We're, we're ramping from the value it was at to the uh, value that it's going to be, and so forth.